Hey guys, it's Kaylee, and today I wanted to do a quick uh, review of some really cool Sailor Moon purses that I ordered. Um, so a while back, I guess this really popular, um, I don't know if she's Japanese, but I guess it's a designer that's really popular in Japan called Samantha Vega, who is famous for her handbags. Um, made a Sailor Moon collection of handbags and there's like little backpacks and stuff and they're just freaking adorable but they are like maybe two three hundred four hundred dollars a piece I'm not sure how much about how much comparatively they're actually worth in Japan but it costs that much to you know order one if you live in the States so even though I adored them and I loved them and I thought they were super cute, I was like, well, it's a little too rich for my blood. But fortunately, of course, in the fashion world, that is where knockoffs come in. There are all these like really, um, at least online, they looked really good, really similar knockoffs. So I actually ordered mine through AliExpress. Um, I won't link to the store in the comment in the description below just because um, stores on AliExpress it's sort of like eBay like they're usually time limited so they usually expire after a while um, <clears throat> you can just go on AliExpress and do a search for Samantha Vega Sailor Moon handbag purse or whatever and you'll probably see like a bunch of options come up and you can even refine the searches so that um, you know from cheapest to most expensive and stuff like that and they're also available on eBay um, in my experience they seem to be cheaper on Aliexpress but every now and then you might find like you know a really good deal on eBay but so yeah these this is one of the purses I got um, it was the first one that um, as soon as I saw it I, I knew I immediately had to have it and that is this like really cute Luna cat ear handbag and it has a nice shoulder strap um, for me, it's like a pretty good length, pretty perfect. I was afraid it was going to be really tiny. It is a lot smaller. Um, it doesn't look too small, but it's like really thin. It is much smaller than normal purses or handbags that I'm used to, but I've been using this one pretty steadily and I've been getting pretty used to it. The details are awesome. This is what the back looks like with the cat ears stitched on. This material is awesome it feels almost just like real leather I'm not sure exactly what it is I don't think it's I'm sure it's not real leather this purse was about $30 so 30 compared to you know 300 or whatever the actual purse cost that's insane I love it and I love the detail so there's like the little crescent moon on the front and it is metal and it says I don't know if my lighting will allow you to read it, but it says Samantha Vega Sailor Moon. So it just lets you know the you know designer name and the uh, Sailor Moon brand name, even though this is a knockoff. Um, it has gold details. I'm not normally that crazy about gold, but I think that looks really super cute with this black handbag. Um, one of my only critiques about the design is this little snap. It's, it's magnetic, which is very nice, but the back side of the snap where it attaches to the front of the purse, as you can kind of see, it's showing through and pushing through the like faux leather of the purse, and that kind of bothers me. It was doing that from the very beginning, like when I first unwrapped it, it already had like a little bit of this poking through showing. I wish there was like some kind of like padding or something on the back side of that closure so it wasn't, so it wouldn't be so obvious. But that's a really minor flaw. I can live with it. And this is one of my favorite parts of the bag also is this lining. So we have this really cute lining that has Luna and Artemis all over it. And it says Sailor Moon. And this is what the inside of the bag looks like. So this is the inside like little, I don't know, branding thing. And it says Love Fulfilled, Samantha Vega. I'm not sure, like I said, I'm not familiar with Samantha Vega. I'm not sure what authentic Samantha Vega bags say or what they look like. So, I don't know. It, it makes it look more official, <laughs> but I'm not sure how accurate it is. Um, and there's like a little, 
There's like a little inner zipper, so that's nice. And there are inner pockets. There's one that's perfectly sized for a cell phone. And then there's some other like inner pockets. And so, yeah. That's what the inside looks like. I just adore this bag. I wish it were like a little bit bigger, a little bit roomier, but overall, this is like a really good day bag. If you're not planning on, you know, throwing everything in your purse like this is really awesome I love it it's so super cute I get so many compliments on it even people who don't know what Sailor Moon is just love this bag because it's so cute so I highly recommend this one be on the lookout I noticed um, I had to look really hard I had to be careful when I was looking for this bag just because um, I noticed there were other knockoff bags that weren't as good quality like instead of having this metal piece on the front it was like um, it was like another faux leather piece that was stitched on so be on the lookout for that make sure you're getting one with the authentic like the authentic looking metal piece instead of you know like a stitched on fabric crescent moon unless you know you prefer that and this is the other bag I got the Luna bag I was just showing you it's available in black like Luna and it's also available in white like Artemis um, of course I had to get black because I love Luna and also because I just love black um, <laughs> um, I got I ended up getting this bag in white um, I believe it's available in like a light baby pink white um, dark navy blue and red which are really, which is kind of weird to me that it's available in such dark colors. I kind of wish it was available in more pastel colors like the pink and white. Originally I was going to get pink, but I was like, realistically, how much do I wear pink? You know, like especially light baby pink. Not that often. So I ended up deciding to go with the white version just because I figured it's like a nice neutral color. Like if I'm wearing, you know, dark or light outfits you know I could take this along with me um, again this is made out of like some kind of faux leather material I'm not sure what exact material it is it feels a little bit cheaper than the Luna one um, the materials not as nice I'm not as much of a fan of it but again I'm not sure what real Samantha Vega bags are like to compare it to so maybe they use a really similar material I don't know but there is what the it has like little handles it is a nice size. Um, it doesn't have a shoulder strap or anything like the Luna bag. This is just like a handbag. Um, it is a very nice size. It's comparable to most other handbags I've owned, so I'm pretty happy with this. I can fit a lot more in this than the Luna bag. I like the zipper. I like that the zipper has a heart on it and it says Samantha Vega. Oh, and obviously the most, the cutest feature about it that makes it a Sailor Moon bag is this cute little Sailor Moon Crescent wand and it comes out of this little holder thing and it's attached with a chain and it has like a little gemstone in it. Again like the Luna bag on the Crescent Moon it says Samantha Vega Sailor Moon so you know who the designer and the line are and yeah I just I love this detail this is what made me want this bag um, even though it's comparatively such a simple bag. I'm not sure what this whole deal, <laughs> what this is about. I've seen other Samantha Vega bags and it looks like they have little metal lock things on the front. So I don't know if that's a typical Samantha Vega like feature of her bags, but um, yeah, I definitely like the Sailor Moon version. And it has little metal feet like the Luna bag. And it's a little weird to me that the zipper kind of hangs off the back like that. I'm not sure exactly why. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know this about the bag. Okay, I just discovered something new. Okay, so this is like a little lock. Okay, so you undo this and it lets you open this inner pocket right here. So that's pretty cool, right? You could hide like, you know, some valuables or something in there like your money or whatever that you kind of want to keep, you know, semi-private. That is really cool. I feel so silly. I didn't even notice that pocket was there until I was like looking down into the purse. That is really cool. So okay, so the lock is functional. It serves a purpose. That is awesome. I love it. So this is what the rest of the interior of the purse looks like. 
As you can see, it is this incredibly cute material of like a jumble of all the Sailor Scouts and it's in this really pretty pastel color. Just like the Luna bag, it has like some brand identification like patch in it, even though it's knockoff. I uh, can get a better look of the lining with all the Sailor Scouts on it. Um, they don't look completely on model and accurate, so I'm thinking like even this fabric is a knockoff, but that's okay. I, it's just super cute. I kind of wish they had a bag that like the out the exterior of it was made up of this like Sailor Scout material. I would definitely buy that. So this one has an interior pocket over here again the Sailor Moon material inside and on the other side we again have like a cell phone pocket and a slightly bigger pocket on the side so plenty of room plenty of pockets just love this bag highly recommended I believe this one was a little bit more expensive than the Luna one which I found kind of surprising um, I figured the Luna one would be the most like most expensive and popular one just because it's so cute but if I remember correctly I believe this one cost about forty forty five dollars which again when you're dealing with a brand where the original is you know anywhere from three to four hundred dollars pretty stinking good deal I'm super happy and lastly I wanted to share with you guys um, a not so successful knockoff from the Sailor Moon Samantha Vega collection I got and so I got this wallet um, the Samantha Vega Sailor Moon collection also includes these really cute like billfold wallets and they also have little like cell phone wallets and just all kinds of cute stuff and they come in lots of different designs so you can get your favorite Sailor Scout uh, color scheme of course I wanted Sailor Moon because she is my favorite Again, I felt like these were on a little bit of the pricey side. They were like around um, on AliExpress. I was seeing them from anywhere from like twenty to thirty dollars generally. And I saw this one come up, and it was only like twelve dollars. So foolishly, I like jumped on it and was like, "Yeah, it's a great deal. I'm gonna finally get this wallet." But um, it is not as good of a knockoff as the purses, and I will show you why. So the make of it is pretty good. It looks pretty much like the pictures of the original Samantha Vega authentic wallet I've seen. Um, the charm and the little bow are nicely constructed, but as you can see, hopefully down here under the bow, it's supposed to say Samantha Vega Sailor Moon, just like the purses, but instead it says best love Sailor Moon. Okay, so that's kind of weird, not a good knockoff. They don't even have like the actual designer's name on it. And again, the zipper, same story. It's a really cute uh, zipper pull with a little crescent moon on it, which I like. But again, it says best love Sailor Moon, not actual uh, Samantha Vega Sailor Moon. And all of that would be forgivable. I would be willing to still forgive it. But the one thing that really, really bummed me out about it is um, this is the interior what it looks like and in the original wallet you can look up pictures of it it has like the interior material is a cute pattern just like the purses it's like a pattern made up of all the different Sailor Scout symbols um, and this one instead it has like this really cheesy cheap looking like heart pattern that says love and so that really bummed me out. That's, that's the deal breaker that made me say like, mm, I don't think I want this wallet. I don't want to use it. Like, even though no one's ever going to see the interior probably or pay attention to it but me, but it's going to make me feel kind of embarrassed and cheap that like, <laughs> you know, I have this like, like cheesy heart interior instead of the actual Sailor Moon Scout symbol interior. So, you know, just be careful. The seller, I don't feel like they were super deceitful, like they didn't trick me exactly by showing like one, like a, a picture of the original wallet and then I got this. What they did was they didn't show the details that were different, okay? So it was a little bit like lying by omission, like they didn't show a close up of what the words actually say and it's really hard to see in like pictures, you know, from far away and they didn't show a picture of the actual interior material of the wallet 
like they showed a picture of the interior but they carefully hid what the material looked like by having like you know examples of money or cards or whatever in the wallet so just be careful don't buy a knockoff product unless they have pictures of everything like everything that you can expect with the product or you'll end up with like you know, I'm, I'm really surprised because I've these are the first designer knockoff products I've bought ever, I think, so I wasn't really sure what to expect. But I'm super pumped about the quality of the purses. I'm so impressed by them. But this wallet, um, yeah, it reminded me that, you know, buying knockoffs is a bit of a crapshoot. You have to be careful. So yeah, just be careful out there, guys. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching and spending some time with me today. I really appreciate it. If you have any other questions or comments or if you have any other, um, you know, Sailor Moon knockoff products that you're into or whatever, let me know in the comments down below. And um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as part of my spoopy coven. And thank you guys so much. I love you all. And don't forget, you are beautiful just the way you are. And don't forget to be yourself. Bye!